the table. It may be a minute. <laughs> get crawling, it's get a, crawling. It's a big table. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's how live streams you're right, started. That, 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 there we go, you're, <laughs> okay. over there. you're over there. You got this, you got this. I wonder if that even streamed or if this was too early. I hope okay. it I'm hoping it's in there, yeah. I mean, at this point, is there anyone here? Is anyone actually watching? Are we in? Ben. Oh, boys. Ben says boys. <laughs> What's up, Ben? Oh, straight oh, away. We made it that. <laughs> Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a whoa, second. We'll get, get there now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's uh, introduce now, uh, first. How many have we got in? It doesn't say on there. It doesn't say on there. How many have we got? Um, it's t 11 watching now. Oh, there was more waiting than there are viewing. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Thorin4125. What's hey, up? Hey, Matt. How are we doing? I'm just getting involved. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Crack on, on board. It's Hi. Fine, indeed. Hi, everyone. How exciting. Matt's eager to say hi. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Pleased to hear you, Matt. That's great. Pleased to hear you. Matt's actually yeah, a long time. Yeah, pleased to read you. <laughs> no, would that be a thing? That just sounds weird. Matt's yeah. a long time friend of ours. Is he? We've been talking to Matt for a long time. He's been watching the channel for, Since I want to say years. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so Close cool. Close to the beginning. Well then, hey Matt. Even more so, hey Matt. Uh, we got How, Hi, Anglestone. Okay, so we are here today to, I guess, officially announce our short film project. Uh, our own fantasy trilogy, I guess. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is Marcus Armstrong. He is the writer of that. This hefty. This is just part one. This is what we're working on to start. 31 pages of goodness. Um, and we're here today to, I guess, officially, well, introduce Marcus, of course, and answer any questions you guys may have on the film that, you know, that we're willing to answer. Uh, and also give a brief introduction to the setting, the story, the world, and, uh, and a little bit of a, a little bit of something else. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit of something. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll answer a couple of questions, and then we'll go into an introduction, and then we'll just carry on with the Q and A for the rest of the hour, I guess. Yeah. So we just had a comment asking, are we the ones who used to run History of the Ages? Yes, okay. we are. That is us. We are just rebranded, reborn, but we're Fresh. still, but we're still here. It's a, it's a long story. It's a big old thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is the same stuff. The Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth lore mm. content over here. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, we have been raising money via Patreon for a, an original short film, uh, which is what we're talking about today. Yes. It is, of course, inspired by Tolkien's works, um, but it's an original setting, an original universe. Mm -hmm. But you'll, you'll be able to make, as fans, like, connections within your own heads, I guess. Yes. Because um, uh, Ben actually asks, after we release this movie, will we be releasing the script? Ooh. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. In fact, our top tier patrons on Patreon have all had early access to the script. Yes. I think there have been drafts since those guys had it. Maybe only one N or two. Nothing with, extreme. No, but minor yeah. story's the same. Yeah. Think, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so a few people have read it already, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think once the film's out, we could certainly, maybe we'll sign, we'll sign some copies or something and uh, yeah. send them out to, I don't know, do a giveaway or something. Um, okay. Fun. So this is Marcus. Hi. Uh, we have just uh, recorded a exclusive video for Patreon as well, so it's not object; it's uploading. Yeah. But because we're streaming as well, it'll be after the stream is finished. Yes. Um, so those of you that are over on Patreon and supporting the project there, you will get a little bit more, some extra details, and over on that. channel members on the YouTube channel as well. Yes. So uh, yeah, if anything we miss on here, it's probably intentional because we've covered it for you guys to have a little extra but we'll answer as much as we can on here anyway marcus is not only you know a friend of ours a long time i guess colleague we've done a lot of work together on films yeah. in the past as as an actor at the time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. um yeah. but he's also obviously he's written this script and not just from the viewpoint of oh i'm, I'm their friend and i'm a lord of the rings fan i want to have a go at writing a script he's actually a professional so do you want to tell the guys a little bit about what you've done and what yeah, you do yeah sure i'm a i'm a professional screenwriter so i work uh, on various things uh, i i work as a script uh, consultant i called it a script doctor earlier on and these two thought that was funny so i'll change it Brilliant. to script consultant um <laughs> and uh give notes and things like that um i'm also a tutor i tutor at master's level for screenwriting uh, which is all kinds of fun, um, and yeah, and I, I write stuff for people and uh, and for myself. Lots of projects coming soon, so very exciting. And this is one of them. So yeah, so fun. so yeah. a master's in screenwriting. Yep. And now actually teaching. Yep. Master's level. Yep. So yeah, he knows his stuff. Yep. 
I think we hired the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> and importantly, he knows his his Tolkien. So, you know, he's on our level, uh, which which obviously helps. And mm -hmm. you know, being friends beforehand, you know, we can be honest with each other, and yeah, it's worked well. And what we've produced and what Marcus has written, I think, is extremely strong. And I'm I'm very very happy and very excited to get to work. Oh, good. Okay, me too. Shanto misses our Q and A so much. Well, we're we're here. You haven't got yes. to miss us. We're right here. And in fact, we I haven't checked right now, but we're approaching eighty seven. Eighty seven thousand. Eighty seven thousand subscribers. subscribers. So we will definitely be doing something, potentially a giveaway like we have done in the past for one hundred thousand. Oh yes. So hopefully that is not too many more weeks away, but we got to push it. So if you guys have not subscribed. This is my time to call you out. <laughs> you should. You should yeah. just subscribe. It's yeah. great. In fact, I think about 70% of you have not subscribed. So <gasps> if all of you just hit subscribe right now, we will hit that 100k and we'll be doing, be doing a huge giveaway. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Lovely. But now that plug is out of the way. I, I mean, I, I will just say I'm subscribed right now and I'm loving it. <laughs> so you should be as well. Best decision, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be quite awkward if we looked at your screen now and you weren't subscribed. I'm, I am subscribed. <laughs> no, I am really. It's fine. <laughs> I'm seeing loads of comments already. We will get to them all in a second. I'll just answer a couple. The movie will be on our YouTube channel, so mm -hmm. it's yes. not you haven't got to pay to watch it. It will be free for all of you on this channel, The Broken Sword. However, those of you that have supported it financially through Patreon, because uh, 100% of Patreon money goes towards this project, not mm -hmm. in our pockets, we probably will do something additional for patrons, maybe like a director's cut or a extended edition version. yeah an extended edition something like that um, so yeah but it will be free for everyone okay shall we get into the introduction of Exciting. the story yeah we can do that so because this is of course inspired by Tolkien's work and as filmmakers we were heavily inspired by the Peter Jackson trilogy we thought there's only one way to start this and to set it up via an epic prologue to kind of give you guys a sense of where we are what's going on and maybe what's to come Okay, yeah. so what Marcus is going to do is read you the opening prologue voiceover to the first part of our trilogy. Here we go. The dominion of men is at hand, the old enemies overthrown, the old alliances forgotten. Even the old magic is lost to the land. The long peace has nurtured apathy, and apathy nurtures weakness. The memory of men is short. We move on, become complacent. All we now know of the time before comes from the crumbling structures of our forebears. And a book, penned by one whose name is lost to the dust of ages. It is said that we once sh shared this world with many races, though none have been seen in living memory. They forged great alliances and together prevailed against the dark. The lands of the enemy were reclaimed though it is whispered that no such darkness can ever truly be expelled. And so we live in this hard-won peace, though we must remain ever watchful, with an eye always to the horizon. Evil has a way of emerging when left unchecked. Ooh. Uh, no mistakes as well. I know, that was pretty one, good, wasn't it? Look at that. Look one take go. wonder. <laughs> oh. So that is the opening prologue. Uh, obviously that will be intercut with... It, images. It's not just you know, just a reading. There will be uh, sure, stuff yeah, yeah. cut in with that. Um, yep. Shanto says, "Wow, Marcus, that was brilliant." Mate. Oh, yep. thank you, Shanto. That's great. Right. You know, I, I, cool. I wish we, good, yeah. we should have had some music. Just yeah, we background. should have put some background music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I won't do it myself. That would be terrible. Wouldn't I know. Much longer than we might have got a copyright strike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. We don't want that. Magically penned, brilliant prologue. Oh, well, this is lovely, isn't it? Sounds epic. Sorry, I know that I know. Interrupted it's... with Marcus's stool squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David. How's it going, buddy? Um, yeah, so hopefully that's given you a nice idea of the yeah. setting, the, the kind of situation of the world that we are in. Uh, I'd like to think that maybe you guys can make some connections with the inspiration, mm -hmm. which is you know, it's cool. Like we yeah. said, it is an original story. It's not necessarily a... Lord of the Rings fan film, it's yes. obviously just inspired by. Yes, um, and yeah. we've had a couple of questions already asking about what age the films are going to be set in, or the film is set in. Like you said, it's not specifically in an age, but I think by the intro you can get a good idea of uh, yeah. where we're going with it. Mm, I'd say so. Yeah, if you want it, like, like we said in the Patreon video, all fantasy these days, mm. you can link 
to Tolkien. Yeah. Like, it's clearly inspired by everything. Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. They're all clearly inspired by, and you can make as many connections as you want. I've seen comparisons of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Oh, sure. Like, like... the general structure, everything is identical, mm -hmm. like, pretty yeah. much. Um, and I guess you could do the same with this. Yeah. Yes. Um, in, fact, in, my, yeah. in my head, like, if we were to make it an actual, like, if this is in Middle Earth, like, this is clearly, we're looking at progressing past that and to, into the fourth, fifth age, maybe. Sure. That sort of thing. This is the thing. I mean, you know, the fantasy, fantasy as a, to get technical, storytelling technical now, the, you know, fantasy as a genre has a, as a, has a specific structure and, and, you know, what I've tried to do is to, is to play on that structure and to make it feel familiar. Um, so it's inspired by it. And it's you know, yeah. and, it, and it feels as though it's 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 part of that kind of uh, that lineage, as it were. I like the word lineage, it's good, yeah. isn't it? Lineage it's a good is word. great. And we do have um, some information here. So what we've what I put together as part of the kind of deck, as it were, as well as scripts, is this uh, lovely partial document here, which is called a, a show bible, um, which contains all kinds of weird and wonderful bits of information uh, that might be useful to to well, to these guys when they come to. Uh, they come to make it, and so there is a huge amount of information there. And as I think, I think as you said, it's um, it's it's one of those things. It isn't it is an original story, completely original. Um, you know, it doesn't directly connect. But it, if you guys, there there is a thought to if you wanted to see it as uh, something, you can make connections there. Um, and yeah, in terms of ages and things like that, it is set. Um, it is set sometime after. Uh, a, a long time, like a long, long time yeah. after um, significant events of the past, and uh, and yeah, so the it's dealing very much with the same themes that Tolkien <clears throat> began in his work, um, and you know the idea of dwindling and changing and and things disappearing and the memory of uh, of, of what mankind can be is uh, is a big theme throughout. So that's what I've tried to do. That's what we've tried to do, and hopefully that will will continue. So so yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. Okay. Let's get in some questions then. Mm. Um, so the one that I'm seeing a lot of already is, uh, what's the title? <laughs> ah, ah, and this question. is something that we've gone back and forth with over and over and over. And we had one pretty much set in stone for probably six months. Mm -hmm. um, but then we decided to change it very recently. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think the title's actually on the thumbnail for this live stream, but it's blurred out, right? Yes. Yeah, so... The way, again, explaining it again, it is a trilogy of sorts. This is one long, overall mm -hmm. arcing, cohesive story s told across three films. Okay? Each film is probably somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and we're making them one at a time. Um, so the overall title is the title of the whole project, and each chapter has a separate name. So this one, and the title of the whole project, is The Guard. The Guard. It will become very apparent why it's called The Guard when you actually <laughs> finally get to... So much fun. <laughs> the Guard. To see in it. I'm going to have to just hang up on this phone call. Nice, Sorry. nice, nice. I feel like that's a, like, a usual thing in our live streams. Yeah, I always get... Fun. They wait till we go live, and then it's like, hey, let's bring yeah. Jake. Yeah. I mean, some someone said a minute ago that the stool uh, the stool squeak is nostalgic, so maybe you have to cancel <laughs> phone calls is also nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to keep some kind of theme going through these streams. Anyway. So yes. this, this one in particular, this script that I have in front of me, is titled The Guard, Chapter 1, The Forgotten Darkness. Ooh. Now, again, this is something that we've battled with for the mm -hmm. last 20 months of, of, of working on this, yeah. is trying to avoid what seems like typical, cliche Dungeons & Dragons campaign names. And uh, it, it, should be, it should also be said that the, certainly the episode name the, the, is a working title. Yeah. It's um, you know I, th I think we're I think we're happy with it, but it, you know if if th think these things may change in in the course of any production things shift around and change from yeah, just something. like your opening monologue. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, when we get to the actual final piece coming out, and you come back and listen to this, it may might well be, a little be bit different, worded yeah. different. It might be a little bit different. But that's why I'm glad that we've kind of got this on on film now, so we can when the film's released, we can go back and kind of see how it's all changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Be interesting. Go back and be like, oh, our early ideas were so much better. Yeah. <laughs> What yeah. happened? <laughs> so Matt has asked, "What was the previous name?" Is that something we? Um, I don't. I don't know. I think we that's... we keep that in the shadows yeah, for now. Yeah, I think uh, partly because if you guys start saying you prefer it, <laughs> that's yeah. upsetting. It, it's, yeah, it's. Uh... We'll put out. Um, well, technically, those are on the uh, high tier on Patreon. They all had the script when it had the previous title name. So the old patrons actually know. Mm. However, ah uh, yes, if you if you're on here. Big tier patrons, don't uh, don't uh, 
secrets. <laughs> Someone's actually asked, what about the Irish comedy movie that about the crooked <laughs> policeman? <laughs> We're talking about this, because yeah. you haven't... Have you, either of you seen it? Or? Uh, no, you know I haven't. No, no I haven't yeah, because I'm the only one that's seen it. No. Brilliant film. Um, but I think we are so, so different, and we are just a YouTube little thing. Yeah. I, I think we're okay. Should be okay. There's many films that have the same names that are under... That are just yeah. so different, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not like it, we're ripping them off or trying to make yes, our own version of that film. Yeah. It's, it's very like different. The Guard is not a particularly unique no. word or no. name, so it... Yeah. It's also used in a different way. Yeah. It's I not th- about... Think... The, our story's not essentially about a guard no. as such, like a, like, like a security guard, for example. It's not... Mm. Used in that way. Yeah, I think we can give the exclusive that there is no Irish police officer. <laughs> what well, breaking news! I know, I know. It is. It's it's a big moment to give you God. give you that there. I know you weren't expecting it, but there is no Irish police officer in this story. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> La- <laughs> Laughing Tolkien asks, "Will there be blood and violence?" Um, there will absolutely be violence. Um, we. This is where we've seen about maybe having more than one cut in a R-rated, mm. not R-rated, because. With you, as YouTube is the platform we plan on releasing this on... They don't like violence. Yes, they don't like violence, they don't like blood. So we may have to limit it for that and maybe do a uh, Patreon cut. exclusive yeah. like download, basically, yeah. that, you have, that you can get. Yeah. But we won't be able to upload it to YouTube. So the answer is both yes and no, to be really annoying. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> so, actually, another question I, I kind of want to address at this point is... Um, well, from Alex is first asking when are you going to start full time work on it and how will you juggle it with your time now will the channel posts slow down to facilitate the making of this it's a great question Alex also shout out yes. to Alex good friend of ours hi Alex um, yeah so juggling our time is mm. it's a nightmare day to day anyway yeah <laughs> so when it comes to shooting this which I imagine is going to be quite the commitment maybe four to five weeks of shooting I could probably see this taken Depends on how full time we go with it. Yeah. Um, it is going to be tough, but we are still currently looking to hire an editor. Yeah. So if we can hire an editor to work on other stuff, then it should free up our time somewhat. So don't forget, we don't just make YouTube videos. We also mm. run an actual film company and a gym. So freeing up some of our other time would be nice to be yes. able to commit the time that this project deserves to mm-hmm. it. So yeah. I don't think we'll be cutting back on upload times. No, it, upload it just, schedule. yeah, we just need more help. That, that's all yeah. it is, really. Yeah, delegate. Yes. Delegation is key. <laughs> Which, I mean, we could mention about the one role that we're looking for soon here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. So the next stage for us, really, as the production is we need a producer. Yeah. Because that's something that none of us have time to do. As much as it could be fun, it's not our what we specialize in yeah. and we want this done right so this is almost the first call out yeah uh, we are looking for a producer or producers to work on this film i don't really know what else to say than yeah that. if anyone else if anyone <laughs> has any production experience then and you're interested yes. in preferably uk based hit us up uh send us some of your work and we'll certainly take a look for those of you that are wondering the structure of this film uh, myself and james will be directing mm-hmm. that is our you know our Role in, in, in it's film, where we I started. Guess. It's yeah. where we started. It's where we continue to go. Mm. Marcus is obviously the writer, but he more than likely will have a part in it as well because he does have a background in performance. Mm-hmm. So yeah, whoa, whoa, stop spamming, Yuri, <laughs> chill. <laughs> um, where was I with that? Yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously, directing is a very different role to producing. Mm. Um, so yes. we're looking for someone to essentially manage the project, <laughs> organize us. Yeah. yeah. Tell, you, <laughs> tell you no and tell you yes and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyone out there? We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. But yeah. That's pretty much that. Um, okay. Oh, my comments just refreshed and I've lost where I was. Oh, oh, no. Will it be played by real people or will it be a CGI movie? It's 100% live action. There yes. will be no CG characters. Um, there will absolutely be some visual effects. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, it's 100% live action, and yeah. we are very much of the thought of do as much as you can practically. So anything, you know, any action and stuff, it'll all be for real. Yes, like the, sure. the usual comparison between the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit is yeah. when you get your characters, like, say, your Lurch, your Gothmog, any of the Orcs or Orcs, really, they're all makeup, and they look so much better look than your CGI bad guys. 
from The Hobbit. So yeah. why would we go with the CGI route? And it's also really expensive. <coughs> true. Never that. True, true, Never true. That. Um, okay. Potatoes. Ah, Matt actually has a good point. He's saying, release the R-rated version on our website. Yeah. Ah. That is true. That is a very good idea. I mean, it'd be good to do it for patrons and stuff first, but yeah. then after time, yeah. Yeah, are, we gonna, are, we gonna, are you going to start a movement It's going to be release the broken cut or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hashtag release the broken Re cut. Yeah, release the, the BS cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Um, Cormac Max... Cormac asks, is there a villain per se? Hmm. Ah, that's a good question. Great question. Yeah. There is. That, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there, there is, is one. There's certainly good characters and bad characters. Yeah. yeah. In terms of you can, not like good yeah. or bad written. Like no, 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 no. <laughs> good I'd like evil. to think they're all well written, but yeah. the um, but yeah, no, there 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 are certainly some uh, there are certainly some bad guys that are bless them a bit misguided. Yeah. Um, have some bad have some bad ideas, but uh, but yeah, no, they it's yeah like we said before, it's a, there there's a lot of um, a lot of traditional fantasy kind of elements brought into this, so. Yeah, you can you can expect some good but good goodbye, some good guy, bad guy <laughs> stuff going on there for sure. Yeah. Um Chaos Vikings Rise says, who, who can we see in the movie, like Aragorn or Frodo? Uh you certainly will not see Aragorn or Frodo in the movie because they are talking characters and this is an original story. Mm -hmm. It's also, like we said at the start, if you want to make connections and link it to Middle Earth in your heads, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it would be set just so yeah, far, far away. Far, so far away. Yeah. Um, but it's original. Yeah. And actually, he also asks, a bit further down, is when will the movie be released? Oh, that's now a good this, question. we don't have an answer for. Uh, I did, originally, we were aiming to release it around now. But that yeah, was the we, original we, goal. Yeah, we'd hoped to shoot... But shot. then we went into a lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've only just... I mean, this yesterday was the first time we have got together and done an in-person read-through yeah. of the story. So this it's quite it's quite amazing actually because this I think we we started work on this 2 years ago something like that. 20 months I think, I think it was. 20 yeah. months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this whole time we've been, you know, I've been I I'm based in uh, in in the the south in south of England. Um and so we've been, you know, messenger and 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 video calls and things like yeah. that this whole time so it's nice nice to see you guys yeah good to see you yeah, too yeah, yeah. yeah this is nice yeah i've had enough of you now but yeah no i'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding come down more often i will i will um yeah this is a, this is essentially draft 15 we're on now yeah, yeah it is as of today yeah, as yeah of today. Put some tweaks this morning and that's yeah, just yeah. episode one Yep. Yeah, that's episodes, episodes two and three have their own draft numbers. Yeah, yeah. Similarly, chapters two and three. Chapters two and three. Yes. 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 So, oh, as James. for this is a very long-winded way of saying the release date, we don't have a release date in mind. We don't even have a day to start production in mind yet. Yes. All we know is that the story is done. <laughs> the next stage is hire a producer. From there, the producer will start. You know, we'll look at hiring casting directors, and then we'll go into casting, costume, props. Yes. We've had I concept art design. I think. A lot of you have already seen them. Some of them are on our Instagram, I believe. Yes. But all of them are on Patreon. So yes. Again. And one of them is the thumbnail for this video. So. Mm. And that yeah. the, the image you see on the thumbnail is actually concept art for our hero, our main character, mm. our protagonist. Yes. Yes, protagonist. Yes. yes. Quite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get to some more questions. Um, Shanto oh. asks, will we be using the background props in the movies? I mean, they're great, aren't they? You know what? Although, this is on a complete side note here. This is really fun being sat here. I feel like I'm stepping into one of your live streams, <laughs> and I get to kind of sit here and go, "Oh wow!" Yeah, except you, you see all the uh, stuff that we hide as well. Yeah, what yeah. do you know? What do you mean? This is a vast and beautiful room. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like it's like a wonderful. Um, it's an endless blue room. It's, yeah. It Just is. It's endless. It's, it's, I mean, you guys should see. It, actually, it's amazing. Beyond this, it's like a drinking hall of Rohan. <laughs> like, there's just long tables with mead and all sorts. Everyone's being quiet behind there in a minute. We're gonna start. We're gonna get on it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking, <laughs> eating, feasting. <laughs> um, oh, Alex asks, are we going to have fans as extras? Absolutely, yes. we will. Um, there are a few scenes in this chapter that will require a lot of extras. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a battle sequence in this part that I'm really looking forward to shooting for one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, we'll absolutely, we'd love to have. Uh, some fans in, in involved and realistically obviously it comes down to budget and costuming but the more the merrier yeah it is yeah it's cool. basically like we very much doubt we're going to have the budget to 
it's, it's not going to be like you know, fly anyone from other countries yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But anyone UK based who is happy to make the journey, obviously you'll be fed and stuff. <laughs> you yeah. won't just starve, but um, yeah, in many cases it will just be people want to come, make your way here. Yeah, I think for the scenes like that where there's extras involved, we probably just have bucket loads of costumes mm. and it's like okay find something that fits yeah the good thing yeah, about a lot okay, of those scenes see. is they don't need to be as uh in detail costume wise as mm -hmm. main characters yeah as the background people so you can almost afford to do more of them yeah yeah that's true so matt asks a good question uh what races will appear um i can promise you that men will appear humans for sure yep <laughs> there was a question a while ago <laughs> I can't remember who asked it now because this was ages ago in the chat and I've just remembered. was asking, will we have cameos? Yes. Yes, but that cameos? doesn't mean there will be Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> very Before good. anyone else wants to make very the joke good. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, no, there is no way we are doing this movie and not having cameos. That's exactly. all I'll say. Uh, and and, they're, and, they're, and they are. And you know what? They're very, they're good. They are, yeah, they are cameos. really Although, good cameos. <laughs> so sadly, my yeah. cameo is not in this part, so I yeah, do not get cameos. Yeah, your, your cameo is more towards the end, mine's more towards the beginning. Yeah. I'm going to have to have some like cool makeup, like a really big nose and yeah. and long hair or something, just so I can be yeah, a we'll different the cameo. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, mm. yeah, your cameos kind of bookend the trilogy, yeah. which is quite nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, entirely intentional, and yeah, yeah. I, I did that on purpose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yuri says, try to get Orlando Bloom in this film. Okay, all right. If he's willing to work for free, because there's no way we're paying his wages. <laughs> um, Richard says, you guys have a gym and play 40k. Henry Cavill, eat your heart out. <laughs> Although also, yeah. Henry Cavill, if he wants to be in the film, we'll, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll do our best to... Uh, Henry, if you're watching, <laughs> we have a great gym downstairs. We do jujitsu. This is a jujitsu gym. We also have loads of 40k over there. And custodies rule, so come on down, Henry. They're next to the drinking horn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt says, I'm guessing by the prologue, there are no wizards. Um, Thanks for the comment. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a, lovely, a lovely thing for you to pick up on. Thank you for listening so, <laughs> so hard. I really appreciate it. Shanto says, Marcus, yeah. you have the perfect beard for a dwarf role. Oh, Shanto, I am six foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I could... I'm sure Rich Armitage was also six foot tall. I mean, that is Maybe. very true. Are you gonna are you gonna do some? Well, we were talking about false perspective actually a minute yeah. ago. Yeah, I kind of wanted them all to sit further back so I could yeah. look <laughs> If I, I mean, if I, I don't want to lean too far back, but I feel like this is. Yeah, there you see, go. Yeah. I'm the biggest. Person oh my god, now. look at this! We've, we've, we've done this perfectly. Well then, thanks very much. You, <laughs> you've opened up a whole new world of casting opportunities to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gigi, I always get this wrong. Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. Gigi. GG. Hey guys, waiting for cold weather to wear my hoodie merch. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Nice. It's pretty cold where we are right now, so I'm wearing my fourth Alingus jumper. It's kind of chilly. Mm -hmm. um, oh, someone also asked, will there be merch for the project, for the film? Ooh. Yes, there will. Yes. Um, again, I think the higher tier patrons will get crew t-shirts sent yep. to them. Oh, cool. we'll, we'll be getting cast and crew merch made up, so that'll be exclusive to Patreon. But we will also have uh, some cool merch just available. Generic. Yes. Logo merch. Can, I, can I get some of that? Can I get some of that sweet merch? You'll definitely have one. <sighs> and the bill will come with it. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Is it inspired by the unfinished story, The New Shadow? Um, not directly, but it's something we certainly looked at. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. There are, um, I, I'd say that there was a. There was a huge amount of research that went into this. Yeah. A huge, a vast amount of research. A lot yeah. of reading, a lot of watching, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff like that. I also um, actually, this is a fun. This is a fun thing. I, when we were when we were going through and um, coming up with sort of names and kind of conventions, things like that, I actually consulted with a linguist to make sure that because uh, uh, um, the you know language is so important to. Um, to fantasy generally, but specifically to kind of Tolkien's works, it felt only correct that we that we kind of be really honest and um, mm. and, and make sure that was right. So yeah, we we uh, we consult. I, I had a, a chat with a linguist who's an old buddy of mine, and um, and we we kind of worked that out. So thanks, Will. Nice one, Will. I don't think you're watching, but <laughs> thanks, mate. <laughs> um, Kezia says this looks so pro with the laptops and paper stacks. Oh, so pro. I was I was thinking that earlier actually. Yeah. It's it's some there's something about so many scribbled yeah. notes, <laughs> scripts. Yeah. That it's amazing. It's just satisfying. I wish we could give you guys access to the Bible because the amount of information and 
the backstory yeah. and world building that's in the Bible, and that's not even the full Bible, right? No, that's no, right. no. This uh, is this is less than half of it. The, yeah. I say the one we have digitally at the moment is mm. currently at forty-seven pages, yeah. but I don't think that's the most up-to-date one either. No, no. No. You no. think about this. So we've got a Bible that's forty-seven pages, and then chapter one. Is this the shortest script? Yeah, by a couple of pages. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is thirty-one pages, yeah. and then I think episode three is forty-seven. Might be a couple more now, but yeah, it's. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah. as you guys can imagine, it's it's a big project. And yes. You can see why twenty months. And you know, a lot of work has gone into. Yeah, yeah. A huge amount. Of something work. that not everyone knows, but as a rough idea, with a script, every page of a script equals about a minute's worth of screen time. Mm. Oh, on so average. On, a, on average, average, like that's just a good like like a good way to try and work out how long your film might be from your script. So you can kind of figure out from that. How big of a project that this is, yeah. considering yeah. initially we only planned to do on a single short film, which yeah. realistically maxes at about 20 minutes when you say short film. Yeah. Yeah. I know it can be longer, but that's probably what we were thinking. And, and then we basically brought Marcus a... on board and he had all these ideas. And I got, and... I got overexcited. Now, now we're doing a trilogy of films all longer than that. Yeah. So we're basically making a feature. Yeah. So yeah. you guys get a Sorry. lot more from your, for your money than you <laughs> than we ever intended to actually it was, to do. It was funny though, because you, you guys reached out to me all those months ago and we... And we I th- it was you, I think, wasn't it? And you, we just had it on Facebook Messenger, and um, and you were like, "Oh, do you have any ideas?" And I just went, "Yes, <laughs> yes, I do." And just blah, 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 immediately, whoa, 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 we need to write them in a different place. I have been, <laughs> I, I think I've been, because Lord of the Rings is, um, and you know, Tolkien's work and stuff like that is one of the reasons I started writing anything. Mm. Um, it's the same for us. It's the reason yeah. we got into filmmaking. Yeah, so hundred percent. I so in a way, I have been writing this film for since about. The early two thousands, and so it is. It is a culmination of a of a lifelong sort of um, ambition and and a world to play in. So I I really thank you guys for letting me play because it's it's just great. It's, it's just been, great. It's been an awesome there's, twenty minutes. There's, a, mm. uh, there's another question here, which I believe mm. is directed at you, Marcus. Cause, okay, cool. You know, hit me up. <laughs> this is from Kezia again. It says I love to write books and short stories. Do you have any tips? Oh, by the way, my name is pronounced Kezia. Kezia. Sorry, Kezia. Hi, Kezia. I hope I'm even saying that right because you know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. For sure. Um, the the best thing you can do, books, short stories, any kind of storytelling, is to start small and come up with the with a, a a core idea that goes through it. For example, uh, one of the theme, one of the big themes of this is a kind of uh, is memory, and um, and kind of you know the idea of forgetting stuff. And so start small, and if you have a you have a concept in mind, then chuck it into what we what we call a premise or a log line, mm-hmm. and it's like three lines of um, three lines of of text. You get a really good idea of that there. And then expand and write yourself an outline and just a one pager. Then expand that to two, things like that. Look at things like structure. There's some great uh, resources online um, concerning the three-act structure, which is pretty much what everything is, um, especially in kind of fantasy genre and things like that. I actually talk about it in the last video I put up about Lurts. Do you really? I do. You well, have not watched it? No, uh, you do. No. You do. Fired. <laughs> Damn. No, I've been here. I don't know. I'm, I'm busy. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's, there's loads of resources online for that, but yeah, get, get your structure right, get your idea pure, get the thread going through it, and, and you won't go far wrong. That's the, that's a kind of a yeah. very small bit of advice. Very small, but very general. Lovely. There's a few comments here I want to get through there. Sure, yeah, yeah. From a, from a few minutes ago. Go, so, go, go. Uh, first of all, Matt Field says, hi guys, glad to see this popping up today, can't wait for more on this. Thank you very much for stopping by, Matt. Appreciate it. Um, and then Adam says, hey, I'm new to the channel, this sounds very exciting, good luck with the Project. Ah, thank you very much. Yes, Adam. Is there any way to watch your previous projects if you have any? And then Matt said, Adam, get them to show you the Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, those of you that don't know, the Ranger is our first attempt. I wasn't part of this. I was not I was nothing to do with the Ranger. Why are you trying to back away? I'm not <laughs> backing away, I'm just making it clear. I'm just I just I just make it clear that you get you guys get the question. <laughs> So the Ranger, it was our first attempt at doing a Lord of the Rings inspired short film. It's about four minutes, I think. If that, three and a half, three. Um, It had no budget whatsoever. It was myself and James in our old office, locking ourselves away, making costumes until early hours of the morning. And then, yeah, it was fun. It was one of the most fun projects I've ever shot and ever been a part of because, you know, I got to play a Ranger and it was really cool. However, there were many things that went wrong with it um, and... If you do, I think it is on YouTube somewhere. If you do go and find it, do not let that be a judge. <laughs> do not do not judge our potential filmmaking. 
quality on the result of that. That's all I'm going to say. I think it's great. I don't know. I don't know it's why okay. you're backing away from it. Something I will say is the sword fight, the whole fight sequence in it, was... I don't even know if I should, if I should say this, but was all performed with real swords. Yeah, the yeah. point of no budget was we we uh, like this. We have the props that yeah. we collected mm -hmm. and had to use. Yeah, so there, there was, was no, no there was no foam swords there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Shade Beard also asked how long will it be. Um, oh no, I just, oh, oh, I just refreshed. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh no. Um, oh, well, I guess it depends on if you're going to just episode one or yep. the entire project. Um, I'd probably say thirty to forty minutes for episode one, and yeah. then roughly the probably same forty-five. Two. To, yeah, same for two, and then probably 45 to 50, maybe for episode yeah. three. So, be a guess. overall, it'll be a nice feature length, probably yeah. somewhere between that, so close to two hours. Yeah, two hours, mm -hmm. what I was going to say. By the end of it all. Which um, we never would have imagined getting close to at the beginning. No. Marcus. Again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone asks, so, 1536 Yorkcraft? Yorkcraft? When is casting open? Um, after we hire a producer. Yes, I we, mean... We, we had to, we're absolutely taking like audition tapes yeah. and stuff now. If you want to send anything in, it won't be anything specific, but you guys know the genre, you know the background now. So if you wanted to send us uh, an audition video, that's fine. We've received quite a few already. Um, yeah, just contact us social media or you can find our email on our YouTube about section. Um, so Dorian stopped by. So hello, Dorian. Hi, Dorian. Dorian. What's up, my friend? <laughs> Kezia says the orc makeup was quite good in the Ranger. Yeah, it was okay. We, it was it's going to be a lot better for this one, trust me. But, it, it, but the, we might not have orcs. The, so. the blue orc was the best. <laughs> just saying, the blue orc was the best. Doubt. <laughs> I've, I've just clocked Yuri, Yuri uh, saying there that the little Easter egg for someone dropping from the ceiling and turns to the, face the king and says, hello there, which I quite enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I like this <laughs> idea. Where's a pen? <laughs> <laughs> Shade Beard is excited. Me too. Um, Simpson actually asks, where can they watch the Ranger? Uh oh. Oh, where can um, they watch the Ranger, guys? <sighs> so, one of our other channels, <laughs> which re this is going to sound really stupid to everyone now, a channel called History of Star Wars currently homes the Ranger. Yeah. So, the History of just, Star Wars, it yeah. used to be, it used to be our original YouTube channel where we just made short films. That's all we did. <laughs> so, there's a vast variety of, of content on there. Uh, which ended up going towards purely Star Wars content, hence the name. Um, but yeah, the Ranger is still on there. It, mm. Even the upload date on that channel, it's older than yeah, it is that, that was a re-upload. <laughs> that was a re-upload, um, so it's an old it, video. May, maybe one day we'll pull it up as part of the... Ugh. Maybe when we do like a behind-the-scenes making of this project, we yeah. will include the Ranger yeah. as a, this is how we started, and this is where we are now. You do like a yeah. how it started, how it's going yeah. sort of thing. That would be fun. <laughs> Look at that, we're so, we're so on it. That was a topical reference, wasn't it? Yes. I don't think... I am hip and current. Yes, so hip and current. I love it. I don't think... Uh, are you super chaps wrong? Mm. Um, I don't know. There's no way you're doing it. Um, but, oh, I've lost where I am now. Will we have Funko Pop? What, of ourselves? <gasps> oh, that would be cool. Can we? Someone wants to make okay. a Funko Pop of us. That would be amazing. Can we do, can they, can people do that? That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be great. Ben Something says, like this as well. Yeah. Will we enter it into short film festivals? Um, it would be cool. However, I don't think we can upload it to YouTube for most festivals. So, oh, that's funny timing. Oh, there we go. It's just appeared. Yeah. What, what were you saying then? Sorry? I, sorry. Uh, oh, you, I, I don't think you can upload to YouTube if you've entered into... It very much is dependent on the festival. <laughs> But the majority of them will request that it's not being shown anywhere public mm -hmm. before you submit. Yeah. Um, so that basically rolls us out of doing that because we're making it for you guys. You guys are funding it. So we're yeah, not sure. going to hold it away from you guys. And if we can submit in, submit it into anything afterwards, then yes, we'd yeah. love to. But that's not why we're doing it. All right. We are so far behind on comments. I'm going to skip a load. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna say, we've had a super Again, chat. Super so, chat. If, yeah. you, if you want to, I mean, you know, this isn't like a thing, but if you want to, get noticed you can super chat a small contribution to your lord of the rings uh, film lord of the rings friends i very much look forward to seeing it you all do great work i get more insight from your content oh. thank you very much shade beard good on thank you. you good on you your contribution is very much appreciated 
there was a comment I noticed up above there from somebody asking about um, uh, stop motion film and, and going to bigger projects, which if you don't mind, I'll just quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, and like scaling, scaling up your projects is a really interesting thing. It's, re it's a tricky thing to do. The best thing to do is you, you, can't get, you, you don't want to stretch a story. If a story is a, a short story, then keep it a short story. If it's a, if it's a bigger one, it's a bigger one. Um, which is kind of dodging the question a little bit, and I don't mean to. But the, po the point being, if you, are, you don't want to be scaling up, you want to find something that is already the right uh, size and the right kind of appropriate um, length for something like that. And then in terms of that, it's just about making sure that you, you kind of have uh, enough stuff to do it and the story is kind of dense enough <laughs> said dense a lot today. Um, <laughs> dense enough to really hold that, uh, hold the attention and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I hope that kind of answers your question a little bit there. Cool. And then Super Chat this time from Dorian. Hey. Most hey. legendary of Super Chatters. Uh, as long as it's got dwarves. Also, would you guys and your reaction video to Horn of Gondor to the Broken Sword really liked how you break down the video? Um, oh. First of all, thanks for the Super Chat. Yeah. Uh, we probably won't, to be honest. Um, Reaction videos just don't tend to meet our audiences. Yeah, it, it's a very <laughs> strange thing that the YouTube algorithm will you like will create videos that we think are oh, audiences that like this will obviously like this and it's what we want to do. But then YouTube just goes, nah, they're not close enough, and then it just suppresses the channel. Yeah. And sadly, reaction videos kind of go against law videos. They're not. YouTube just sees them as completely separate things, even if they're reacting about the law you usually talk about. Yeah. So, sadly, it's actually really detrimental to the channel to put them up. Yeah. Just but, to be completely transparent. If you really now. want it, I'm sure we can find a way to get it to you personally, Dorian. Yes, no problem. yes, of course. Um, Roger Rockmore says, when will the film be completed? Again, we're still, we've finalised the story. It's here, it's beautiful. Um, no. On to hiring a producer, and then it will be shooting at some point next year. That's all we know. Uh, once we finish shooting, I think it'll be a pretty fast ride from there because mm. we get excited and we like to edit things super quick. <laughs> um, please don't spam your questions, guys. Uh, I'll answer it. Will there be elves from Riverdale and Lothlorien? Nope. Um, I was just looking at the background and I missed the Balrog in the old <laughs> stream setter. Which Is one? It? There's. The big, the mini epic one. There's the pop figure one. I, think I mean, it there's was the mini epic one we used to. But that yeah. one. There's, there's, a, a, there's a there's a group of Balrogs over there by the swimming pool. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. And they're all. Yeah. I think they're all. They're all kind of seeing if they're deciding to go for a little swim over yeah. there. I mean, honestly, it's vast behind there. Yeah. Maybe they're going. They might be on their way to the mead hall. Oh, to the mead hall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I'm trying to think if if have you guys ever seen that side of the camera? I don't think they would have. Oh, not not in this place. No. I mean, you... again, it's so vast. It's, it's so big. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, will there be a cameo appearance from Lurtz? Nope. Don't forget, this is an original story inspired by, so there won't be any characters that you know. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> wanted to do dwarves, they get Peter Dinklage to be a dwarf king. Uh, if we could get Peter Dinklage involved in any way. He'll just be written in. It doesn't matter yeah. if it makes sense. He'll... Find a place for him, yeah. yeah we'll, he can we'll... make his own character. Yeah. No. He can just turn up and be like, just, just react and we'll just work around. Yeah, yeah we'll make it work. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Um, there's a question here, which we can all answer. What character would you choose Would you choose to be in Lord of the Rings? From Jason Smith, Evil Dead. Ooh. So if you could, yeah. What, if you could be one of the characters from Lord of the Rings, who would you want to be? I would be, you know what, I'm thinking specific, it's very specific. Mm. Um, I'd want to be in the scene, so I'm thinking film rather than okay. book, in the scene where Bilbo is standing up doing his speech, I want to be the hobbit that goes, proud foot, <laughs> proud feet, or whatever it is. Yeah. That, that's what I want to be. I want to be that guy because he looks so chilled, yeah. and, he's, and he's, yeah, he's, he's got a nice be. mug of mead on the go. I want to be that mm. guy. Yeah. That'd be, good great, that'd be pretty good. That's a good show. Yeah. I mean, Niche as well. for the most of an actor of all of us, that's quite a funny role for you to pick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I want to have the least amount of lights. Yeah. <laughs> I've done my time. I just want to lie back and drink some mead. Fair. In the, in the mead hall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, Anna Rose says, you need a You Shall Not Pass in the film. Maybe we can sneak one in in one of the three. Well, one we could do it when the, when the lead character's doing his GCSEs, I suppose we could... We could have someone tell him he's not going to pass that way. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Um, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Simzen says, I just went 
back and watch The Ranger. Gotta say, the actor for The Ranger himself was really good. Thanks, it was me. <laughs> I he, agree. Don't flatter him too much now. <laughs> he has a lot less hair than he had then. <laughs> Not that that was his real hair. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, like, it's a far wig. more expensive wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and again, no, the, the blue orc was pretty good. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love your videos. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, where we at? Do you, uh, so Jason Crow says, do you guys have a set location in mind? Um, we have a couple of ideas. We, we have we ideas, have, yes. Yeah. We, have, we have a general like image of what we would like, and it's just finding somewhere that matches that, or is close to. We have one location that we absolutely love for, mm. that, that, that takes up a big chunk of this first chapter. Yeah. Mm. It, but it's a big expensive location so yes. it's all dependent I, I like to think we could definitely get like a week shoot in there maybe but yeah but it's all, we'll it was also a location where we'd actually originally meant to have our first meet up in person mm, to yeah, go, we yeah, were yeah, going to yeah. go to this because it's kind of in the scout. middle of yeah, where we yeah, all yeah, are yeah, it is, yeah. I um, about that we should yeah, still do that yeah yeah, yeah for sure do that sure. but then lockdown happened so we never yeah. actually went to see it um, so God, we should about yeah. that yeah, should, yeah, yeah. our next meet up should be there yeah okay that sounds good we'll make a day of it yeah sounds good Chaos Vikings Rise says who of you would win if you fought each other James, any day. Yeah. You take us all down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hands down, no contest. Yeah. See, because I'm a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, you guys can guess. Yeah. Um, and you guess James, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, let's get some more questions going, my friends. Let's go. No, I quite like that question. <laughs> yeah, I like that one as well. It's let's good. just move the table and we'll just do it. <laughs> this is a new kind of live stream. We'll, we'll take it to the mead hall. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> Matt says, if you guys sit in there like the three hunters, who would be whom? Ooh. That's uh, a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to, to be honest, I feel like it very obviously just by luck goes Gimli, Aragorn, Legolas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that, that's, that's the most suitable. That does kind of work, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That's good. I've got my, you've got a sword. My uh, sword's behind there. My axe is over there. Your axe is over there. No, you don't yeah. have a bow. Okay. Your bow's in. Your bow. I think Wait, your, your knives are No, somewhere. it's over there. It's over there. No, it's out there. Ooh. It's out, we, Ooh. we touched fingertips. That was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> ET now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that is, that is exactly how it is. Sorry, super chat from Dorian again. Hey, Dorian. Sorry, <laughs> didn't, I, it didn't clock it with you then. Sorry. <laughs> have rain like. Oh my god, I can't read. Have rain in the film like Brie. Oh, yes. yeah. It's reaching yeah, that yeah, point yeah. now of the stream where yeah, it just yeah. starts to go. <laughs> I mean, I, I just read that to start with. I thought you were talking about rain being like cheese. And I was thinking you have like cheese rain coming down, which, I mean, I love cheese. It sounds great, but. In what context would we have been talking about cheese? I don't know. I <laughs> thought it was weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, we probably. Dorian, there probably will be some scenes with rain, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, James, sure. do you look like a tactical analysis at a football club? You do. Actually, yeah, the one above says I look like a football manager, which yeah. is that shit. Yeah, that's, that oh, is, yes. that's a thing. That's Doe Shield thing. says, will any of you actually be in the movie, even as an extra in the background? Yes. Um, James and I will definitely be making cameos. It's got to be them. We're not going to tell you who, great, what, when, or where. Cameos, though. But you got they're good cameos, and you guys will have to to look for them when it's out. Uh, and Marcus again has a background in in performing as well as writing, so I'm confident he'll be in it too. Um, what kind of sports do we do? I do fitness and just started Krav Maga. Cool. Uh, me and James play football, kind of, yeah. and I pretty much trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu full time. I um don't do that. I <laughs> no, I no, I run okay. I I run occasionally. That's that's the uh, the, the extent sure. of it there. Sure. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Matt Haley says, "How are you guys going to be supplying props mm. like armor and weapons?" Um, for background extras, it'll probably be like generic, just cosplayish type stuff. But yeah. then for the for the leads, for the for the protagonist and his weapon, we'll definitely love to get a proper blacksmith actually forge yes. something that would be Again, so cool this comes down to hiring the right crew to create the project like as much as things like the ranger we did everything ourselves we don't want to do that this time because we know it won't it's be, impossible yeah it it just won't be the best thing that we can make and that was if, a, last time it was a four minute film this yes. is in, across the three chapters minimum two hours so yeah that's a, so, that's a big undertaking sure yeah this is where we uh, delegate and bring in people who are very good at their jobs and do those things for us 
<laughs> and we've had another super chat from Hope. Thank you, Hope. Since this is an original story, how different to Tolkien's works is it going to be? Like Ooh. any different races, not from Tolkien's world, for example. That is a smashing question. A I absolutely question. love that. Um, yeah, I can't really answer it, but it's <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. It's, it's kind of uh, trudgy now. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh, yeah. There, there's there will be there are differences for sure. Um, there, you know, it's it's one of those things where there are with all fantasy. We uh, you know we 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 mentioned some of this at the beginning, but. Um, with all fantasy, a lot of it draws from Tolkien and Tolkien's works and, and things like that. So there are going to be familiar things um, in there for sure. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's very much, it, uh, you know, there are, bit, there are elements of homage and things like that knocking around in there for certain. Um, in terms of different races from Tolkien's world, um, yeah, great question. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, <laughs> I think the best took of... so long, man, just to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it's fun, isn't it? I, I, like a true I think the best way like of a true politician. The best way of answering that is by talking briefly about, like it, it was mentioned in the opening prologue. Like, yeah, we could, which but, we could read again at the end. Actually. We could for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, if you weren't here at the start, we will do yeah. it again. But magic, magic, and magical races in this universe have faded. Yeah. Many many years ago, and um, the people that are around now, um, it's either. It's like there's two sides of it. There's, it's it's almost like it's almost a religion. It's not a religion, but yeah. you have believers, people that think you know elves and dwarves and orcs and all that. Yeah, that was real. That's part of our history. Yeah. And then there's the other people that are like, come on, those are myths. Yeah. Those are bedtime stories. Like, get over it. The like, I, the idea <laughs> the idea for sure is that the that they have, if they did ever exist in this world, they are gone and they haven't been here for some time. And um and you know they are. They have part. They have passed into the myths and legends of the uh, of of those that are left behind, um, which is a big big theme running through the whole thing. Um, and you know how how much is true, how much is not true, and what does that mean for our for our protagonists? Yeah. So yeah, I'm just so excited. We've actually had two more super chats. <laughs> we have first from Shanto saying small contribution. Thank you very much. Nice one. Uh, Thank you. Hope Dwarf M is here for more. Dwarf M. Dwarf. Oh, am I Dwarf M? I don't know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Dwarf Marcus? I did see, before we get on to the next super chat, I did oh. see a comment a second ago. Oh, there was a few. Uh, Kezia, Kezia, sorry. I honestly yeah. think this is the most wholesome stream ever on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. I, um, I, I feel like Jake's going to want to read this uh, Dorian super chat. So I'll get there in a sec. Alex says, do you have an idea of where you want to film it? Around parts in the UK or keep it in Wales? Um, we'll go with best suits the project. The one place we have in mind is not in Wales, mm -hmm. and then some of the other places, some of the mountainous stuff, we've, we've looked at Brecon, we've also mm -hmm. looked at, um, where's the other place you, you were on about? Uh, the Bible. Oh, Dartmoor. Dartmoor, yeah, 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 Dartmoor yeah. yeah, for sure. So yeah, um, wherever, wherever suits best, yeah. we'll, we'll go. Uh, super chat from Dorian, will there be a narrator's voice recom uh, recommend Jake's voice, his is calm yet deep. Much love, my friends. Thank you very much. It's actually much deeper at the moment because I have a slightly blocked nose. He has a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm sorry to disappoint, but Jake won't be doing the voice. <laughs> oh, no, no, as no. It, it will be a one of our cast. Yes, will be doing any of that. That part. voiceover is actually a yeah a character within the film. Yes, so. which will make sense in the future. Yes, but I'm sure Jake will just say things for you if you want to hear voiceover. <laughs> yes. Any requests, my friends? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's just one uh, super chat trying to do the uh, Yes, don't diss the super chatters. <laughs> it's, right. it's giving the film a budget. <laughs> Matt um, says, Scotland is brilliant for scenery. And it is, is brilliant for scenery. Very, very true. Yeah. In fact, the Lord of the Rings on Prime show are moving to the yeah, UK and are. a lot of it is yeah. supposedly going to be taking yeah. place in Scotland for that reason. Yeah. But so is Wales. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. And uh, Wales is wet, but less wet than Scotland. <laughs> but then we can have that brie rain. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. I've got to spend more money on protecting the cameras <laughs> from the ring. I am Dwarf M. Hey. Hey. Ah, nice one. The beard Thanks, is legendary. The beard is legendary. I feel like, like Gimli. you've yeah. got like the um, Keely look going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, Keely and Keely. Thanks, man. Aiden Turner is a delightful looking fella, so <laughs> I will take that. What I kind mean, of just the beard, not the rest? Ah. What, kind of, <laughs> what kind of background music will you guys do? Uh, so everything will be. Uh, what's the word? Scored. scored, scored, yeah. Like it won't be uh, just generic royalty-free tracks at the end of the film. It will be, have a full custom score. We have spoke to a few composers. Is that the right word? Composers. Yeah. Music people, and uh, 
yeah, we're, uh, we're, yeah, we've got some good ones lined up. So it's not, nothing's finalised. We'll, we'll probably talk about that later into production. But yeah. Would private woodland be useful for you? Uh, potentially, yeah. Uh, depends where, depends what it looks like. Send us some pictures, we can see. <laughs> uh, Alex has got to go. Excited for the project. If you need a generic ginger guy, hit me up. Absolutely, Alex. <laughs> I'm sure we can get you involved. You can be a, I mean, I'm a generic ginger bearded guy, so... In all fairness, my kids have cameos in it, and they're as ginger as ginger can be as well, so... <laughs> true. We, That's true. We don't discriminate. <laughs> yeah. Ginger's welcome. Yeah. Is the, is the sign on the door of the mead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, so um, much fun. To take it away slightly from our movie for a moment, we have a question from George. Jorge. Jorge. What do you guys think about the new anime movie for the Lord of the Rings War of the Rohirrim? Do you think it's going to be good? This is something we talked about a lot when it got announced, but... Yeah. Um, it's kind of just gone silent since the announcement. It has, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, personally, I, I would have liked to have seen this in live action. Mm. However, I'm a huge anime fan. Mm -hmm. And Helm Hammerhand is one of my favourite characters Tolkien has ever wrote, and he wrote so little about him. And the fact that he's one of my favourites, and he has mm. such an impact on many fans, shows how impactful Tolkien's writing can be. But yeah, I, I don't think I could have thought of a better anime topic for a Lord of the Rings project if I, you know, if I... Yeah, I, I, th I feel like it's a great place to introduce the yeah. idea of animated Lord of or animated Tolkien work. Well, because you could have gone back first age and before and stuff. That's that, what we've always said. Yeah. yeah, but I understand why they might go. Okay, let's take a take an area that we know roughly, introduce them that way, and then we'll go a bit more extreme in the future if it's accepted well. Yeah, we've because always straight for fantasy. Yeah, might we've be always a said Silmarillion stuff would make great anime with lots of. Uh, oh, it would. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, dragons and yeah. yeah. But but Helm Hammerhand is a larger than life character that kills people with single blows of his fists. So yeah. that uh, suits I just, anime. I just, quite yeah, intense, just picture yeah. One Punch Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Helm Hammerhand turns around and has the Saitama eyes, uh, I would just die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hits someone and you just hear, One Punch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, JB Rocha says, a ranger cameo? It, who knows? It could even it's be the same universe. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> say. Um, Matt says you guys need Marcus on more. He's a good laugh. Matt, you are a wise and and sensible person, <laughs> and and I like you. <laughs> yes, oh, we'd love to have Marcus on board, but he lives further away from us, unfortunately. I do, sadly. But whenever he's down, we can for sure do a stream. Yeah, yeah. catch up. Oh, whatever you do, don't let JJ Abrams get hold of your film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I like a good lens flare. That's true. I mean, yeah. lens flares are cool. Yeah. Lens flares are cool. I like them. Um, James, I think Alexander Johnson has just paid twenty dollars to hear you say something. <laughs> okay, can I get a hello and welcome to our Q and A? <laughs> I'm up. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Mic drop. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I used to do. Hey guys, and welcome to History of Middle Earth. Back when that's when it was. Yeah. 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 Can I have a go? Yeah. Can yeah. I have a go? What do I say? Do I just say that? It's, it's hello you've got, and welcome. You've, no, you've got to do it like James does it. Okay, I'll do my best. Hello and welcome to our Q and A. Not bad. Was that alright? It was okay. It wasn't it was bad. It was a bit over the top. I want to try and impersonate James now. Okay. Alright, you go for it. Go for it. Hello and welcome to our Q&A. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't got the Welsh... <laughs> Hello and welcome to our Q&A. Yeah, because we sound just like that. Yes, you do. The worrying bit is, to some Lovely. people, we might. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That yeah. Was right. yeah. I don't know how Welsh we really sound to you people. I also would apologise to any... Um, Welsh people out there for my appalling attempt yeah, at your right. A chunk of our subscribers just went, oh God, I'm going away from these guys. Yeah, it's appalling. Isn't it? uh, so, hang on. Mitch Watt said, sorry, that was a super vague question. We'll email the details. What was the question? Oh, the woodlands. Oh, the woodlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yes. Yeah, private woodlands. Yeah, 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 for sure. Send us over some pictures and details. So worth it. Uh, Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, thank you very much for the super chat. There's a pause after. Well, oh, we, oh, we got it wrong. Guys, Should I try it again? Okay. On, take notes, take notes. Okay, all right, hang on. Hello and welcome to our Q and A. Is that better? It was too much of a pause movie last time. I don't know. They'll tell us. They'll <laughs> to tell be fair, us. James does like to add random full stops and commas into his sentences. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Usually, it's when and I'm recording welcome. and I've messed up something, and then there's a pause and I have to edit it, and there's just a slight gap. <laughs> <in there. laughs> or it's where I've got to the end of a sentence and I just lose my place, and it's just me refinding. 
that nobody can compete with the James intro. <laughs> I, I mean, I totally agree. I, I don't even. I don't even know why we've tried. <laughs> I might just know. start do, opening my videos, but doing an impression yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, you guys should say, "Build me an army." No, I am I can't do the low Sauron. All right. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Mordor. Mm, I, yeah, I, I can't do the low voice. So that's <laughs> Too just... low. Oh, no, that was alright. <laughs> <laughs> so the fan film will be about Helm Hammerhand, like the upcoming anime War of the Rohirrim. Or did I miss something? <laughs> oh, no, you've confused that. <laughs> you tuned in at just the weird time there. Yeah. yeah. No, we're just talking about the War of the Rohirrim movie. Our film is completely original. You'd have to go back and rewatch this stream. But yeah, it's yeah. original. It's, uh, yeah. So there's a comment here for you, Jake, which is quite amusing. From Debbie. Somewhat unrelated, but saw you grappling with Craig Jones. <laughs> Must have been sick. I twisted him up, as I'm sure you saw. Hmm. Not edited at all. <laughs> hey, it's one take. It's one shot. CGI, yeah. mate. Craig Jones <laughs> is a legend of grappling, and rolling with him was awesome. Uh, he's a super nice guy. Super, super nice guy. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be posting more footage. In fact, one minute today. That was a great plug. Of one of my students rolling with him. Yeah. Uh... Shanto says, this is why I miss the Q&As. It's always so entertaining and a big laughter. Ah, We try our best. We're here to entertain. Will this film have gore from Jason? Um, we touched on this earlier. Mm. It's definitely this action. Uh, YouTube do not like blood or violence, but we're thinking about maybe doing like an R-rated director's cut for Patreon and maybe eventually exclusively on our website. But the YouTube version will be full of action for sure and violence, but maybe not too graphic it's probably the best way of putting it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you guys don't have much of an accent no we don't mm. will there be lightsabers will there be lightsabers of course uh, Alexander the <laughs> super chat are you guys still getting harassed uh -huh. over channel names and such uh -huh. uh, <laughs> channel names no channel name seems okay now a broken sword seems to be okay yeah but, but yeah yeah anything else that we do that every other YouTube does seems to be a problem when we do it so yeah we're trying our best <laughs> How many Bothans died? Many Bothans died. What's a Bothan? You are joking, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Calm down, Marcus. It's okay. Oh my. It's I okay, buddy. Oh, I just nearly it's left. Okay. I nearly walked out. I nearly <laughs> walked out. I could. Oh wow, that was just. Uh... Uh... I honestly anyway. can't stop smiling. I love watching friends just goofing around. Maybe it's just because I can't be with mine. Oh, oh well, buddy. Why not? Come here. Come and hang out with us. Yeah, we're fun. Flight right. Combat Club. You've got to pay a membership to come in, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, like all friends do. That's nice. I always charge my friends to hang out with me. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Marcus Great. has the top tier of subscription here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alexander says, I feel so bad for you dudes. I'm loving the board games channel. I feel bad for us too. It's been a rough ride. Where's yeah. that? Can you reach the plaque, James? It's down there? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. I'll hold it in front of my face, shall I? Like, yes, this, please, this, this is just yeah. under the table now. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's our first plaque. Angle. There we uh, go. Yeah. yeah, but that obviously says, presented to History of Middle Earth for passing 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, which, you know, it sucks. But hopefully, that's why we really want to get this channel. Uh, so we can have a, a YouTube plaque. Oh, this is a hard thing to earn. Okay, you can put it down. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is a hard thing to earn, and it would be nice to have one that's actually got the right name on it. So, help. Yeah. Um, sorry, th this comment's made me chuckle. Simpson says, The Broken Sword guys are way more handsome than the history of the ages people, in my opinion. Hey, now. There's an addition. I mean, that means we're aging like a fine wine. Yeah, yeah, distinguished is what you're becoming, or for sure. Or just losing hair more than anything. To be yeah. fair, I did put on a lot of weight at one point, so... I am currently in the process of putting on a lot of weight, yeah. so... I lost it again, so I'm returning my, my handsomeness. <laughs> uh, you guys are a class act. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. That's really very appreciate nice. it. That's very nice. Uh, so uh, we were talking about, oh yeah, Alexander said about uh, the other channel, the Tabletop Alliance. So this table is the top of the table that we use on the Tabletop Alliance to play some tabletop games. On top of the are, table? Yeah, and we tend to just do, at the moment, Middle Earth stuff. <laughs> just to have my bit. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Middle Earth strategy battle games, so like Lord of the Rings, Warhammer stuff. If you're into that or you want to get into it, go and check out the Tabletop mm. Alliance. We lose hundreds of subscribers a day on there. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, we might gain one or two. Yeah. Obviously, that used to be our law channel, and when everything happened, we uh, switched over to this one, and people realised and then left. But yeah, if you want to watch us play Lord of the Rings games, check that one out. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, uh, Macbeth actually asks, are you happy with how fast the channel has grown? Or did you expect things to be faster or slower? Oh. And um, funny enough, we actually, just between me and Jake, we make predictions of when we might hit certain goals and write them down in the book. And we are flying past what we expected. Oh. So it was quite funny, yeah, because we did, when we first had History of Middle Earth, um, mm. before we had to change the name, we did the same thing. Mm. We first had our first viral ish video, you know, which, like, um, I think it was the Thranduil one. And we were like, oh, wow, look at the growth. Like, let's, let's write down when we think we'll hit these goals and when we'd like to do this. And we, we flew so far past those, it was mm. insane. Like, we put, maybe we'll hit 10,000 subscribers in like six months and then we hit it in like three days. Like, it was nuts. Mm. Um, maybe, maybe a week. But yeah. at first, <laughs> it was insane. And then we've done the same for this one, being pretty much realistic on based on past experiences and we've still gone past it so yeah we're happy with the growth mm. uh we we both said if we hit 100k by february we'd be happy uh and we're currently on track to do it by the middle of next month yeah if the, the current congratulations growth. yeah let's right. let's do it by the end of this month yes mm. share the channel um so another one i just want to address here is michael ironstone who says if you need any music composed just ask me oh well, that's nice send okay. us a message please um Show us what stuff you've yes. done and give us an idea because, yeah, we'd love to hear. We're definitely interested. Uh, obviously, I mean, we have a, a very small budget, obviously. Um, it's not millions like the actual Lord of the Rings, but yeah, I mean, we're definitely looking for composers. So either social media or contact at. We've got a broken sword. Yeah. Right? Contact at the broken sword.co.uk. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a dad bod you can use. Oh. Thanks, Jay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a comment from Matt as well saying, uh, I wouldn't worry, it's traditional to develop a dad bod. So. Yeah. Nah, I don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> um, Matt said, you have to get bigger than Men of the West. He is brilliant too. Ironically, our uh, the History of the Ages channel actually got taken down when we were maybe one to two days away from overtaking oh, him. He was on yeah. 320,000, we were on like 319.7. And we were averaging like 600 subs a day. So we were, yeah. And then, and then, close. And then our channel got deleted. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy. Uh, Michael asks, are there any other you talking YouTubers making any cameos? Probably. I mean, we yeah. haven't actually spoke to any. Like, no. The problem is, a lot of them are, are American. Yeah, they don't live in this country, which makes it yeah. really hard. They're either like somewhere in Europe or America. No, so getting them here. Yeah, we'll definitely be putting a, a message out in our yeah. group and stuff and seeing if anyone's available. But... Yeah, the, the travelling side is what makes the, that more of an awkward oh, Michael thing. said for free. Oh, awesome. What a, what a, cool, That's what a cool guy. Yeah, de Michael, we're definitely interested now. Michael. <laughs> Send us an email, honestly. We'll, uh, we'll check out anything that you've done Mike, before. Michael's a cool guy. Oh, nice yeah. one, man. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. What other fancy stories do you guys like besides Lord of the Rings? Ooh. None. There's no time for others. <laughs> <laughs> loving, loving The Witcher. Mm. The Witcher's um, yeah. sick. I'm really enjoying that. Speaking of anime, actually, have you seen the? Um, don't mind us for a second. Have you seen the um, the anime, uh, the Witcher anime stuff? I, it's on my list. Oh, it's 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 cool. I do it's really great. want to watch it's it. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah actually, yeah. The, the Witcher season one, I was bit, like, I watched it, and I was like, oh no. Like, I love the cast and the characters and the action, mm -hmm. but the storytelling is all over the place. And then I went. That's back... kind of fun, though, isn't it? Like, yeah, but that, I went back and read the first book. Oh, I see. And okay. then I played The Witcher three all the way through. Okay. And then I watched the season again. And I was like, okay. it's awesome. I love it. So it's great. So it's it's good. That's that's a, a hot take. You in, in order to understand the TV show of The Witcher, you need to read the book and play the game and watch it twice, and then you'll get it. Yeah. So that's the. I mean, broken sword I'm probably just stupid, but it could have done with some uh, little just text like ten years ago. Yeah. No, like but that. that no, but that's the, that's the. I mean, this is me being a storyteller now, but that's the joy of it. Yeah. Is is not is not telling you, and then. You're, there's just little cute clues here and there that you go, oh, wow, that's a thing. So that's fun. Anyway, sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hope says, for the Tabletop Alliance, are you guys ever going to do James <laughs> the White and his elf army versus Captain Jake and his rangers? That's a great idea. Oh, that's yes. a great idea. Yes, I we will. That. Solid idea. Um, <laughs> this just popped in my head. Does anyone remember the person that asked you to say beans in every live stream? I do, funny yeah, enough. That beans. was weird. We had some dude that used to just be like, say beans. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just, Every just, single just want to say beans. Now. I've got a hedgehog called beans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I literally do. I actually have. She's, a, she's an African pygmy hedgehog. She's three years old. She lives in a tortoise table in my living room. And she's called beans. Cool. That's a true you a real person? I don't know. <laughs> I ask myself that all the time. 
<laughs> you great. said, I got your fam, I got your channel in the features section on my channel, nice. and I'm telling people about your channel. Thank nice. you very much. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, In Deep Geek lives in the UK. That's a very yes. good point. Oh, cool. But we, we are big, big fans of In Deep Geek. Oh, yeah. Great guy. Great guy. Helps us out a lot when we have problems. Uh, are we looking forward to Lord of the Rings on Prime or War of the Ro Rohirrim and why? Uh, which one? Lord of the Rings on Prime because there's more content and I prefer live action to, to animation. Okay. Mm -hmm. I suppose something that we haven't actually addressed on the channel at all at the moment is the, I think it's official announcement that Sauron is not making any appearance in the first season. Yeah, we knew that oh, cool. six months ago though. Yeah, we, well, we'd still kind of hope maybe like a teaser at the end or something, but supposedly it's nothing. I mean, yeah, they might and still, you know. Are, well, they're saying how it could cause pacing issues. Nah, it won't. They'll, they'll, have, they'll have, it'll be something like The Witch King will be the main yeah. Yeah. villain. But it's but something, we it's we something in a series called The Lord of the Rings and not having The Lord of the Ring in the first season. Is it, is no, it but the series called The Lord of the Rings though? Or is it, it's it's Lord of the Rings. Rings. What, what they'll do is, mm. he'll probably be in it, but we won't know he's the bad guy. So he'll be in it as Anatar as yeah. a good No, that's guy. what they've supposed to confirm. Anatar uh, also. Oh, oh no, right, okay. Like there's no appearance in it. That's um, interesting. They'll just make someone else like, It'll be some. Well, there'll be a villain, and then like in the last episode, it'll be like, oh, it's actually, oh, it's the Witch King, mm -hmm. and he's serving this mm -hmm. guy. Oh, there's a bigger bad. It'll just be like that, like the yeah. Marvel movies do. Yeah. They're always serving someone bigger. It'll just be something like that. Oh, I'm, I'm pumped for them both. I think it's gonna be yeah. really interesting. I, I just love, I love um, adaptations and stuff like that. It's like the, the the Star Trek stuff at the moment they're doing with Lower Decks and the um, and uh, and the kind of the reinvention with Discovery and Picard and things like that. I just love people taking ideas and doing new stuff yeah, with them and same. new forms of storytelling and making it modern, making it exciting. Yeah. I think it's cool. So what, yeah. whatever, I'm I'm good with it. It, yeah. it should be fun. Simpson says we need a The Ranger cameo. Uh, <laughs> good shout. Uh, did we see the Batman trailer? Oh, yeah, looks yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, love it, love it. Uh, uh, Beth says, <laughs> do we have any comments on Seleni's recent comments about playing a half foot in The Lord of the Rings on Prime? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, it's something that Tolkien himself wrote about. Yeah, it, it, darker skinned hobbits. Yeah, so it's the fantastic. weird thing with time, and would they've been there at that time? But the dark skin side—that that's not a a worry at all. It's more yeah, it's, timing of would they've even been around. It's great to see that the writers are obviously actually delving properly into the history and the lore of the universe, and not just doing what we're familiar with. Yeah, yeah for sure. For they're, sure. They're, they're adding more depth to it, which. Uh, People, should, people, yeah. We always get so many comments that Tolkien and want this. Like you're wrong. He wrote that. Yeah, that's what he wrote. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the thing. There's no there's no point telling the story if it's not going to add something. There's no point. There's no point just retreading ground that is um, there. You know, it's got to, it's got to bring something new to the world. It's got to tell a different story in a different way or something like that. You can't just redo stuff. <laughs> sure, it's fun. Uh, Tolkien world is huge. Every bad guy doesn't need to be in each thing. That's why I love the idea of your film. Yeah, yeah, you're Great. absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. solid. Probably solid. <laughs> Matt said I have to go to work, but I'm still around lurking and loving your stuff, guys. Can't wait for all this to come to fruition. You all rock. Matt, we really, really appreciate the ongoing support. Thank you very much. What a guy. <laughs> uh, other Matt says, oh, go on. what story other than this one, and if you had the opportunity, would you like to write for? For me. Um, I... Thank you, mate. You forgot the name of the other. <laughs> oh. oh, that's me. <laughs> yes, you, you ah, are Marcus. This is amazing. I, um, I... I love, I love, <laughs> science fiction fantasy is a big, is a big deal for me. I would love to have a crack at Doctor Who, because uh, that's my, oh, now, <laughs> still your rolling eyes. Um, Doctor Who is, Doctor Who is my, what I came up on. It, it was, for me, Doctor Who, Lord of the Rings, you know, the, the kind of the, um, the rebirth of the show in 2005. Um, so I'd love to have a crack at that, but also, you know, uh, your, your Star Treks and things like that. There's, there's a, there's, I mean, just give me a crack at it, anything, really. It's, it's all for good fun, but. If you like your sci-fi fantasy stuff, you should. Read some forty K books. Yeah, I know it's on my it is on my so list. Good, 40K man. Stuff so good, forty K stuff is on my list. Yeah, for sure. No, I yeah yeah you're right, Matt. You're right. Doctor Who is awesome. I agree. Who you, is your you doctor? So that's a big question. <sighs> no, just uh, go. Do you just want to answer. Go, go, uh, go, 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 Matt Smith. Matt Smith. Matt Smith. Actually, Ooh, I'd okay. say I, I love him. He's a, he's a nuanced performance which is overlooked and underrated. I would say hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Dad bod. I don't know. I just I just picked something at random. Sorry, I'm not <laughs> did, shaming you, my friend. Did we watch Lord of the Rings when we were kids? Yes. Yeah. Initial yeah, release yeah, in the cinema. Just, yeah. Uh, Chris LFC92 says, "What do you think of the new Gollum game coming out? Do you plan on playing it? Love your Dragon Ball and Power Ranger channels. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we will play it for sure. Uh, but we uh, personally, I would have much preferred a game set in a different area with different characters other than mm. Gollum. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's fair. But yeah, a Lord of the Rings game is a Lord of the Rings game. It's yeah. always fun. Yeah. Pretty much. Not to complain about any. Carol says, what's up, guys? What's, what's up, Carol? What's up, Carol? What's up? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's good. Comments are slowing down, so does that mean the, the chat is coming to an end? Oh, wait, big, hang on. Oh, oh big oh, brain oh. idea. You guys should have J.R.R. Tolkien in your film. Sure, he is dead, but, you know, necromancy, right? I mean, uh, that, is a, that is a big brain yeah. idea. Why didn't we think of that? That is a big oh, brain idea. Damn. At least we know now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gosh, we're going to have to rewrite. <laughs> Rough 16. <laughs> Hello, Harry's Bikes. Hi, Harry's Bikes. CGI <laughs> necromancy. Oh, it's like that um, Einstein advert. Creepy. Yeah. yeah. Anton says, what's up, cats? What's up, dog? <laughs> That's a great film, um, Cats and Dogs. Any yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> any Lord of the Rings games you're looking forward to? Few people seem to be interested in the upcoming Gollum game. Yeah, I agree. Um, there's no other games announced, is there? There was the Amazon MMO got cancelled. Yeah. There was Rise to War. It's out. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not particularly excited about Gollum. Although the original artwork that's been released for it does look cool. I'll give it that. Yes, I love the character designs. Ooh, 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 if they ooh. ever make an anime series of Middle Earth, what age should it be based on? Well, an anime film is coming out, and it's War of the Rohirrim. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a good shout, because yeah. Helm Hammerhand is a great character for anime. Will we see you play Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor on War on your other channel besides just playing board games? Um, I don't know. It's a tabletop channel. So we're sticking for now to tabletop games. But maybe. Well, who knows? A painting of Tolkien in the background of a scene would be a nice touch. Mm. That That's a nice good shout. Touch. Yeah. That'd be a lovely idea. That is a good shout. Yeah. Uh, don't have questions, but I want to tell I want you guys to tell me that the Amazon show won't suck. It won't suck. Won't have suck. faith. There's been no evidence to suggest that it'll suck, so be excited. Marcus, what's in what inspires you when writing characters? People is mm. the short answer. Just real people. The um you know, the people are people come in infinite forms and diversity and weird stuff and everyone has their own weird little quirks and things that they do and and that's the thing if you can you know a, ca a character uh, is, a, is just a human being and finding their weird little quirks is um is part of the joy of it and i think if you can do that then you know your character then and you and you can do something that's real and, and interesting um so yeah just just people go sit in coffee shops it's fun mm. actually no don't do that because you're very douchey but you know bars actually bars is a much I better place coffee shop I know you do. <laughs> I love I coffee. Know. Well, yeah, but no, you go for the right reasons. You go for coffee. You're not just going there to sit there like, hi, guys, I'm writing my True. screenplay. True. <laughs> you know, which I've never done. True. Anton said, I'd like to know more, see more of Helm Hammerhand, actually. Also, how and when Helm's Deep was built. Yes. Same. We mm -hmm. have a video on him if you want to check it out. So, do you use personalities from people you know? I uh, Yeah, for sure. I have done. Um, it's, not, it's not like a copy-paste job. It's so, not which based... character am I based on? Oh, uh, well, it was always based on me, rather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, I've actually written Jake. He's, he's not a real human being. He's, he's, a, he's a, yeah, yeah. We're running out of code there now. But, um, but no, it's it, yeah, for sure. You you just kind of take elements of people, though. You it wouldn't be right to sort of copy paste someone. Um, but I find I find that a lot of um, a lot of characters I write are a lot of female characters I write come from um, my wife, actually, which is really interesting. Um, which I didn't realise, but um, until actually until very recently, about um, you know, she, I just she read something and she was like, I was like, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's there's there's a bunch of stuff there, but um, but also from you know you you don't you don't copy and paste, but there but there are elements for sure of of, of stuff. Midnight's Oblivion said, thought you all did tea more over there. That's generalising. I do not drink tea. James, do you drink tea? I do not. I don't drink coffee either, so... I'm a coffee drinker. I do. You shush. <laughs> I do. I like tea. So we actually covered all bases there. Yeah, so Coffee, did. a tea, and neither. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, I hope they never make a Lord of the Rings anime series for the fact that Star Wars Visions anime already sucks, so pray to God there will be no Lord of the Rings or Hobbit anime. Again, Yuri, we've been talking about it all stream. <laughs> There's War of the Rohirrim, a uh, Helm Hammerhand-based anime coming soon, so mm -hmm. yeah. If it's a success, will they cover other stories from the Third Age? Or the Yearn, Fall of Armour, etc.? I think so, yeah. and I think that would be cool. Yeah, I imagine. I can't see them doing it as just a one-off with no intention of doing more. Yeah. No. Find it hard to keep a, smooth, a story smooth and not think, make things seem out of the blue. Do you have any tips? Um, foreshadowing. 
is the is is a is a key thing. You'll see it in in every version of storytelling across the world. Um, there's a great there's a great um, uh, phrase called Chekhov's gun, which is which basically is if you're gonna have uh, if you're gonna put a gun in something, you better use it because there's no there's you can't just have stuff in there randomly. Every sentence, every item, every thing in a story has to have some kind of purpose behind it. Otherwise, what's the point of it being there? Mm. Because stories aren't real life. They are, they are, you know, allegories and, and things like that. So have a have a purpose behind everything you do and foreshadow stuff. That would be that would be a good way of kind of looking at that. Mm. Another question for you. Ah, cool. Why do writers go to coffee shops slash bars to write their scripts? I hear a lot of writers write in coffee shops slash bars, but I don't know why. Like why there? Like why there? I mean, yeah. Like why there? Um, there, there are lots of reasons for it. Um, I, for me, the only time I've ever done it is because it's writing can be a really solitary uh, thing, especially in the UK. I know we got a lot of American people here, but the you know in America you have kind of more writers' rooms and things like that. You have a lot of people working on a script. In the UK, it's more about uh, the lone writer sat in a shed, kind of just beavering away on their own. So it's nice to kind of get out and do other things. You get a bit sick of your own company, you get a bit of sick of the silence. Also for, you know, kind of pretentiously looking at people going and examining and being a study of human nature and things like that. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that, is, that is a reason why a lot of people do it. So there are, there are lots of reasons and there, there are certainly two of them. It's, I guess it's, it is inspiration as well. Yeah, like, sure. like you said earlier, like you can sure. actually take little yeah. uh, things that people do and little quirks yeah. and stuff and add them into characters. So. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, hey, have you made any videos about battlefields in the Shire or conflicts where hobbits were involved? Uh, have you? I think we've done one on the Skyrim of the Shire. Oh, you did do have one. On Is that on this channel? Not on this channel. No, 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 that's the old channel. We will. Yeah. <laughs> How would you rank Tolkien as a writer compared to other great writers of the oh. past? Oh. Just top dog. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he 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 well builds like no one else, um, and he you know it, as he's a different kind of writer, to be honest. To, to, I think to he, he he's the king when it comes to world building. Yeah. Like, how many people, individuals, have made a world with such depth and such a rich history and multiple languages and mm -hmm. very 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 few yeah. writers have ever done what he's done. Yeah. Uh, who's there, Yuri? This is a long pause for a joke, <laughs> and I'm not sure it quite works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bye, Shanto. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. He's one of the few right. Oh, man. I, I, I want to know the rest I of this joke know, I don't know that this is the right forum for a knock knock joke. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just not sure about it. We would just sit in silence until he yeah, gets uh, This is the joke. Just. Yeah, this. he's got us hanging. Yeah, hilarious. Tolkien is a master wordsmith. Yeah, I he agree is. with that. Yeah, yeah. he is. Yes, it's 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 difficult to compare, really, because you know you, you look at other writers of the past. It's they are they 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 do different stuff. They do different things. They're good at um, you know, and it's it's tricky. But yeah, Tolkien is a master of his craft for sure, for sure. I mean, and and you look at any fantasy writers since Tolkien, like since the Lord of the Rings, mm. how many of them have really been one hundred percent original? Like well, every, can't, every one of can't them be, yeah. has been inspired by yeah by Tolkien. I mean, I mean how, how can you not? Yeah, absolutely, and, and you know jo um, George R. R. Martin literally takes his name from Tolkien. You know, it is, it is, uh, which which is a wonderful homage. You know, and and mm. it's it's a cool thing. I think it's a cool thing anyway. But you know, it's it's one of those things that you can't. There is no such thing as an original idea. I might and, just change my name to Jake Tolkien. Jake Tolkien. Yeah. I I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> might not catch on. <laughs> Hi. We went if with hi. Was that the answer to that joke? Was that the end of the joke? joke? Just hi. This is a great joke. God. Thanks for that. I'm in stitches on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I agree. I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. He is the father of fantasy. Yeah, without, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, okay. Right. We've been here. How long have we been here now? Nearly an hour and a half now. Yeah, yeah. nearly an hour and a half. So, I'll give you one more chance, guys, to send in any questions. Questions? Questions you have about our film? Uh, any questions for Marcus? Because you know he's not here every every stream. So we'll go at half three. So you've got six minutes to ask questions. Uh, try and keep them specific to the project and to Marcus for now. Because anything you know, Lord of the Rings based, we can answer on other streams. Should we? Uh, should we? While we're waiting for questions to come through, should we have another read of the? Yes, we'll page? do. 
Yeah, because yeah. we'll do another read through of the. Read through. For those of you, the prologue. Though, for those of you that weren't here to at the beginning, this is the uh, the prologue for uh, chapter one of the guard. The dominion of men is at hand. The old enemies overthrown. The old alliances forgotten. Even the old magic lost to the land. The long peace has nurtured apathy, and apathy nurtures weakness. The memory of men is short. We move on, become complacent. All we now know from the time before comes from the crumbling structures of our forebears. And a book, penned by one whose name is lost to the dust of ages. It is said that we once shared this world with many races, though none have been seen in living memory. They forged great alliances, and together prevailed against the dark. The lands of the enemy were reclaimed, though it is whispered that such darkness can never truly be expelled. And so we live in this hard-won peace, though we must remain ever watchful, with an eye always to the horizon. Evil has a way of emerging when left unchecked. You did it twice with no mistakes. Can you believe that? All the way through with oh. no mistakes. Great. I can, I can go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so a couple of questions during that. Uh... There's one from Matt that... Um, I feel like this is a question that so many people come across. Is how do you deal with writer's block? Uh, take a break. It's the truth. Take a break. Go back to the source. Um, you know, you just step away from it. If you if you are finding that you're having to force it, it's not going to be good. Um, so just stop. Just take a break. Walk away. Get a cup of tea. Uh, go to the pub. Whatever you want to do. You know, just just take a break from it. Step away, and then and then when you come back, rather than picking up where you were, see if you can go back to the thing that made you want to write it in the first place, and go back to your original logline or, or premise or something like that, and it should, hopefully will then reignite that excitement that you had for it and uh, and overcome that writer's block. That's that's how I do it. There are uh, multiple ways of doing it, but give it a go. Cool. Uh, Ven B says, "Will there be a great battle in the in the movie? Um, there will be a battle in chapter one." And obviously, because it's a trilogy, I guess what you consider the climactic battle will obviously take part in number three. But yeah, there's there's some some really cool battle sequences in this chapter as some well. Set pieces, yeah. Yeah. Uh, will there be any force sensitive villains? Have to watch. Yeah, I'll have to find out. Uh, are we going to make an extra video about our new project? We have a Patreon exclusive video and channel members video. So if you want to see a little bit more about the backstory, we talk a little mm -hmm. bit about the characters. You can become a channel member at any tier. So I think our lowest one is like $2 a month or something. Or become a patron at, again, any tier, and you will get access to the extra video, which is a deeper dial, delve. Yeah. A super chat from Dorian as well. Oh, yeah. Saying, will there be bartenders in the film? Cheers! <laughs> well, I mean, we could probably pull the ones from the bar and the mead hall. Yeah. And they uh, could, they've they got a full-time job, though. They... Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Do, You're not going to get them to do on set yeah. catering. They look busy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, morally grey character. Sorry, I'm jump I'm I'm getting involved. You, you, you guys, you guys. Uh, sorry. You see a question you like? Kezia, Kezia. Sorry again. Uh, I think Marcus should be in more streams. The Broken Sword trio now. Just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> but I do think Marcus should come on more often. Uh, or more Lord of the Rings friends. You are a very sensible human. Uh, clearly, you you know what good stuff is, um, and uh, and we thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, again, if whenever Marcus is down or around, we'll try and get a stream in. Yeah, for sure. Will there be any morally great characters like Saruman? <sighs> uh, I, I, it's a personal favourite area of mine to play with things that are not necessarily black and white, which is, I think, possibly where we... Um, well, no, I'm not going to go too far there, actually. No, that's, <laughs> let's leave that there. It's, it's, it's something I like. It's, uh, the shades of grey are interesting to play with in, in narrative. So uh, that's what I will say to that right now. Cool. Uh, Hope has asked, can you tell us the name of the main character? I, d I don't see why we can't give one name away. Yeah. What do you reckon? I guess we have to now. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. All right. Well, the protagonist's name, the main character, is called Haltor. That's all you're getting. If you want to know more, it's for the patrons. It's for the funders. The funders of the project. Funder. Funder. Yeah, funder. Black Centaurion said, damn, it gave me goosebumps. I loved it. I'm now more excited for your movie <laughs> rather than the Amazon one. Ah, bless Same. You. Bless you. Same here. Uh, Anton says, oh, you guys are going to do great. I have a good feeling about this film. Thank you very much. That's me too. 
Yeah, me too. Yeah. Ranger of the North, thank you very much for tuning in. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Van and my DM Melon, sorry for coming this late. I couldn't have been here earlier. What's new? Uh, what things? Just working on the project. If you obviously have tuned in late, definitely go back and watch this stream because we've given a, a lot of information for the first time about our new project, The Guard. Uh, Marcus has beautifully read the opening prologue twice, so go and check it out for sure. Where's the Lord of the Rings posters? Uh, we've got loads of posters here somewhere that is not up. Mm. We thought the weapons look cooler. Oh, um, another super chat from Dorian, just to finish us off, I guess. What would you do if you wrote yourself into a corner? This is a common mistake in writing. That is, yeah, good question. Um, it's one of those things where I you, you plan first before you before you start to write it, whether it's a novel, screenplay, whatever it's going to, or play itself, whatever you want to do, plan it first, and then because it's much easier to tweak things like that and edit things like that when you're working on a one pager rather than like a thirty one page script or something like that. So do your planning it it can be boring and you and you want it's exciting because you want to get going but get it down get an outline done a synopsis done first and then you should be able to overcome problems like that and then hopefully you'll be able to avoid writing yourself into a corner in the first place that would be my advice on that one cool well answered thank you thank you sir uh, aaron smith says hey guys recently discovered your channel take care from south africa ah thank you very much African. i hope you enjoy your time here um liam says hey guys apologies for being late no need to apologise, it's okay. However, we are leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger of the North says hello to Marcus. Hello, Ranger of the North. Right, cool. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have only just joined, make sure you go back and watch it for some more information on The Guard, Chapter 1, The Forgotten Darkness. It's a beast. This is 31 oh, yeah. pages of just awesome story, and it's just the beginning. It's the start of our trilogy. Marcus has done a great job writing it, so... Uh, yeah, Thank I you. hope you're as excited as we are. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's been great. It's been great. Cool. It has. Again, I, I mean, feedback for Marcus has been great, so <laughs> I'm sure we'll get him back on at I some mean, point. This is fun. I, I, I will come and do this anytime. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, typically, now loads of questions come in. Of course, in. yeah. Uh, tune in for the next stream. We'll answer them next time. Yes. Uh, next time will be 100k. Yes. Woo! So hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. As fast as we yes. can. Yes. Cool. Do it. I'm subscribed. Yes. I love it. <laughs> you should do it too. <laughs> it's a wise man. Okay. Thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time on The Broken Sword. Bye, guys. Now I've got to awkwardly get up. Yeah, no, he's, going, yeah. he's going to... No, he, he, no, don't, no, don't go to the mead hall. <laughs> the mead hall. I, I, no, 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 you know, no, you need to go to the thing. The Jake. Thing. Jake, no, no, put down the beer. Put the beer down. Coming back. Oh, but no. Oh, God. Oh, he's I'm got back. a haunt. It's he's okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm oh, back. Well done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How do I? There we go. Oh, good ending.